Hi, this is Chris Wisnia. That's Mount Shasta behind me. And I am thinking about my Doris Danger giant monster adventures. I am thinking about how I met Shag for the first time. Uh, I thought he was an artist I would never have the opportunity to meet. Um, I assumed he was just a big shot. And uh, there was a year that I found out he was actually going to be at Comic-Con. And so I assumed uh, when I was down at that show that he would be the kind of artist who would uh, just have a little 10 minute signing here and a 10 minute signing there, and that would be it. But it turned out uh, he had a table at Artist Alley and he was just hanging out all week long. Uh, so it was really great. I was able to spend some time with him, show him my comics. I asked him if he ever read comics and he said, no, but I'll read this one. And I thought that was so sweet. Um, so I asked him if he might consider doing a pinup for me and he said that he's the kind of artist who never has to do commissions. He just does whatever he feels like and there is a waiting list for people to buy whatever his next piece is that he finishes unseen. And I thought, wow, what a measure of success that he's able to do this. And um, what he agreed to though is that he had many pieces of giant monsters already done and so he agreed to let me publish one. And uh, so I emailed him and uh, over the months I didn't hear from him and then one day he sent me an email saying, here's four pieces, why don't you choose your favorite one to use as a cover? And I don't know if it was a coincidence or if he actually made a piece, but one of the pieces, the one I chose to use for the cover of my Doris Danger Giant Monster Adventures, it was uh, an image of a giant monster holding a character that looked uh, perhaps coincidentally or perhaps uh, like I say, he did it specifically. I don't know and I never asked. It looked like Doris Danger in the hand of this monster. And that's the piece I chose uh, for the cover of Doris Danger Giant Monster Adventures. And he was so generous, he even let me use a second piece for the back cover. Up until that time, I had only done black and white pieces because it was an indie book, so it was black and white pinups. But since he works in color, he allowed me to use color. And since it was in color, he allowed me to use it for the cover of my book.